Hi, through this video, I'm going to share with you how to read values from the Spring Boot configuration file, the application dot properties file. In details, you will learn how to buy the property from the application dot properties file to an instant variable or to a method parameter. And you will also learn how to read properties using the environment object provided by Spring Framework and how to map a set of properties to a java bin object and how to read the properties in timelift view template as you can see i have a java spring boot project here in a spring tools with ide this is a document manager project and this is a application user interface you see this application allows the users to uh, upload files from the computer to the server and in the application configuration file here I specify the max file size is uh, 10 megabytes uh, which uh, allows the user to upload only files that are under 10 megabytes and I want to display this max file size uh, value uh, in the application user interface here in the home page, uh, you can notice that I'm using uh, a YML uh, format for the application uh, configuration file, but the uh, code is the same for the application uh, properties file. Now, let's uh, write the code to read the uh, property from the uh, application configuration fly and uh, bind uh, that uh, property to an instant variable in the controller class here uh, you see so in uh, spring we can use um, this annotation uh, value a value from the package or oh, spring framework dot beans dot factory dot annotation here and then you specify the name of the property in uh, this format the name of the property here here in the configuration files and property name for max file size is spring uh, servlet multibat max file size so we specify here spring uh, servlet uh, multibat max dash file dash size and then the uh, variable name uh, and we bind this uh, property value to a string variable max file size that's it and in the controller handler method we can use this variable uh, for example i print out uh, the value of uh, max file size max file size max file size yeah that's it very simple to read the value of a property in the spring uh, configuration file by it to uh, an instant variable in the controller class here now in this handler method now we be invoked when we access the home page so let me clear the console view and refresh the home page uh, and you can see it print uh, max file size is 10 megabytes here that exactly is the value uh, i specify in the config configuration file here now let me change the max file size to uh, 12 megabytes uh, i don't want to show sql statement so set this to false okay that's it save the changes and refresh the home page again and you can see now it prints max file size is uh, 12 megabytes exactly the value i have updated here 
So that's very simple to read the value of a property in the configuration file to uh, by and bind it to a, an instant variable in the controller class like this. We can also bind the value of a property in as a method parameter. Let me show you how. Yeah, we just uh, copy this annotation value and declare it in the method parameter here and follow by the variable name mass file size here. So you can see very simple to buy uh, the value of a property uh, in the application configuration file here uh, as the method parameter here. Now save the changes and I will change this mass file size to 30, 13 megabytes so we can see uh, okay let's refresh the home page and you can see it prints max file size 13 megabytes here so that's very simple to buy the uh, property value as the method parameter like this. Another way to read value of a property is uh, using the environment object provided by Spring Framework. Uh, let me show you. So uh, here we need to auto y an environment object. Auto y. Uh, private environment. You can see the environment uh, interface uh, from the package of dot spring framework dot core dot uh, and environment and fee and we can uh, use the method of the environment uh, interface and we dot get. Uh, property here and the property name. Property name is spring dot servlet dot motorpad dot max file size, and this get property method returns a string value max file size equal. And now I change the max file size to fourteen megabytes. Yeah, save the changes and let's test to verify so you can see it's also very simple to use an environment object to read the value of any property from the application configuration fly uh, like this now refresh the home page look at the console view and you can see it prints uh, mass file size is 14 megabytes Exactly. In a Spring Boot application with Tamlif as a um, template engine, uh, we can uh, directly access the value of uh, a property from the application configuration file directly in the template view here. Now let me show you how. I delete this code and uh, change the max file size to 15 megabytes. And here I want to display the max file size uh, uh, after the text upload the files here. Upload the files here. Here you can. I can use this uh, time lift syntax to print the value of a variable here. Use this syntax uh, environment get uh, property and then the property name, uh, which is uh, spring dot servlet dot motorpad. Dot max file size. 
Y así. Max find size. Okay, that's it. So we don't have to write any code in the controller. Just use this environment object provided by TimeLeaf and call the method get property and pass the property name. Okay, save the changes and let's refresh the home page here. And you can see it displays max file size is. Uh, 15 megabytes here exactly what we specify in the application configuration file here using uh, this uh, time lift uh, syntax lastly i will show you how to map a setup um, properties in the application configuration file to a java bean object uh, suppose that i have uh, some properties, uh, custom properties uh, for my application, my app dot title equal, for example, document upload light um, using uh, uh, YML, uh, so it should be like this, and the version number, version is one point uh, zero and build number is for example one two three four and I want to read the values of these properties into a Java object so I create a new uh, Java bin uh, style class here for example uh, app info and to map the properties name title version and build here into the object we need to declare the same in the fields with the same name private string title private string version and private int build i want to map the value of the build number into an integer and then generate the getters and setters for these fields here select all generate ok so that we have the java bean style class uh, with the fields uh, having the same names with the properties name here And then we use uh, this annotation. Configuration uh, properties from this package here. Or oh, spring framework dot put dot context dot properties. And we specify the prefix is my app. The prefix is my app here. And to load this uh, uh, class as a bin, I specify the name is uh, app info, for example. Okay, and in the controller class, I will also why uh, tell Spring Framework to inject an instance of app info. Here, auto wire, private uh, app info, app info, that's it. And in the handler method, this uh, view home page, I will print the values of the properties in the uh, app info object here. Hmm. String info equal app info get title 
app info get version build number app info sorry get build yeah and print the info to the console info that's it and now let's refresh the home page to see and you can see in the console view it prints and document upload light version 1.0 build number 1234 exactly the values uh, I specified in the uh, application uh, configuration file here you see so that's pretty easy to map a set of properties from the config configuration fly into a Java bin style object here notice that you must use this uh, configuration properties annotation configuration properties annotation with the prefix here and then uh, tell Spring Framework to inject an, an instance of uh, that uh, class into the mm, controller here like this and then we can invoke the get uh, methods to read the values of the properties very convenient right so far you have learned how to read values from application configuration file in the spring boot uh, let me uh, summarize to byte a property value uh, to an instant variable or to a meta parameter we use this annotation in a value and then the property name and uh, we can also use the environment uh, object to read the value of a specified uh, property and we can uh, use this annotation uh, configuration properties to map a set of properties uh, to a java bean class and in timelift, we can use this uh, syntax to uh, get the value of a, a specific property. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to help grow my channel. Uh, and like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.